Hi everyone, new here and welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you guys some tips on how to increase land value on city skylines. And for this tutorial I'll be using my Grimoire City as an example. And if you guys don't know what my Grimoire City is or if it's completely brand new for you guys, I have in mind that I'm building a city using city skylines, of course, uh, and is a series you hear on the channel. So if you want to watch from the first episode until the latest one, which I believe is 23, uh, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description for the series, for the playlist, of course. And somewhere right now in the screen, you also have a card that will take you there. All right, so on Grimoire, I have two apartment complexes that are now completely empty because of low land value. I did place those buildings using Rico, and I, I think that Rico has some kind of issue. I'm not completely sure. I, I read uh, online that people are complaining about it. But the main reason is, um, in this case, is because I didn't, and I'm pretty much sure there are some, of my, some, some tips are missing. And I'm gonna give you all the tips and I'm gonna use them on this this section of the map to exemplify how it should be doing and how it should work. All right, so let's start it with tip number one. The first thing we have to think about is to provide all the services available to the zone that you want to increase the land value. So that means that zone needs to have police cover, health cover, death care cover, uh, fire hazard cover, okay, education cover. So it needs to cover everything, every service that you have available, okay? Just be careful with some buildings that you place. You don't want to place like a death, a death care building, let's say it's a um, graveyard or maybe um, a crematorium. You don't want to place them too near of your residential area. You know, it's an undesirable building to have nearby, but still the zone let's say it's a residential zone it needs to be covered by that uh, service okay so just have that in mind tip number two we should build parks a lot of parks nearby the zone that you want to increase land value I mean who doesn't want to live nearby a green park I mean everyone I think everyone loves and everyone desires to be living in a place where you have a lot of parks playgrounds, you have like uh, plazas, access to a lot of things, a lot of activities, so a lot of green stuff where you can walk uh, during the, the, the afternoon, uh, the sunset, whatever, you want to do picnics, you want to do walk the dog, whatever, it's definitely something everyone wants to have and in the game this is a simulation, it's also something you should have in mind. Um, another thing is you, I think you should also add monuments and unique buildings. Um, when it comes to residential zone, if you want to increase the land, uh, the value, the land value on, on, on residential zonings, I, I would recommend only parks because when you come with monuments and unique buildings, it may attract more tourists and more tourists means more noise. And I'm not really sure if noise is something very desirable. All right. So tip number three, you should turn on two policies on the desirable zone or even you can turn them on for the entire city it's up to you and the first one is parks and recreation policy the second one is high-tech housing now parks and, rec and recreation I think it's self-explanatory by the name and high-tech housing kind of is also, also but the high-tech housing basically what it says is it adds technology to your houses and that basically makes your residential zones more desirable and therefore it increases their land value. So that's two policies that you should turn on. Tip number four, uh, traffic. Traffic is or it may be a big issue mostly because of pollution and noise and having that in mind we should add always at least on the residential areas and probably even in commercial we should add um, roads with trees okay what happens is the trees are great to block the noise from you know the the all that noise it blocks it reduces the noise uh, eventually after the DLC park life um, it seems that trees 
just normal trees you can place normal trees that previously they were like props or something like that now they do have the functionality of um, at least I believe they can reduce noise so that's also something to have in mind not just the roads but also place some some trees uh, overall in, in empty areas if you want to tip number five you should increase your park budget now that's something that normally I forget about uh, and <laughs> basically what it means is all your parks you know the ones that are surrounding I mean, not just the ones surrounding your uh, desirable zoning but overall in the entire map parks will have a lot of a lot better maintenance so that means they're more clean they're more green and overall a better place to walk and spend time so it definitely will increase your land value let's go to the last tip and the last tip is if you want to really uh, have a fast fix you can try using some mods to increase the land value and I know there are mods over there I'm not gonna say them that's not the purpose of this last tip in fact I, I wouldn't call this last one as a tip but yeah it's it's still somehow a tip so you know there are mods out there that will increase the land value to the maximum value for the entire map uh, I, w I don't think it would be as fun as trying out the game mechanics by itself. I definitely prefer to try the game mechanics. So let's build some parks. Let's build some uh, recreation areas. Let's build some uh, roads with trees. Let's make the place where the people are living and we want to increase the land value more desirable. That's definitely more fun than add a, a, a mod that will just add top value uh, or land value to your place even if you have like a very dirty pollution uh, industry building right next door so yeah that's basically it guys um, definitely I want to thank you all especially the ones that are still watching this video and of course my loyal subscribers and please if you haven't done it yet subscribe to the channel because yeah it's definitely important also turn on the notifications so you can keep yourself updated and leave a thumbs up or a comment in order to make this video more popular and definitely reach more people who may want or may not want to see <laughs> to see the information in it once again guys thank you very much and i will see you soon cheers <laughs>